if there's a pie you haven't tried, you know, some farm wife, you know, in the 50s or 40s or 30s probably made it. Born 20 Blackbirds actually comes from the nursery rhyme, sing a song of sixpence at the pocket full of rye. Born 20 Blackbirds baked in a pie. You know, pie is not new. It is not a newfangled thing. It is an old fashioned homespun dessert. So it sort of makes sense for us that the nursery rhyme would be the name of our business. I'm Emily. And I'm Melissa. We're the owners of Four and 20 Blackbirds Pie Bakery in Gowanus, Brooklyn. And we're sisters. We grew up in a restaurant. Our mother owned it for 15 years. It was a small town in South Dakota, you know, 400 people. Our grandmother came in a few times a week to make all of the pie for the restaurant. She was definitely known for her pies. People would travel from other towns. The delivery drivers would stop in our little town to buy her pie. Melissa and I started baking pies together when she moved to Brooklyn. And we had found that, you know, even though we had grown up in a restaurant, we had gravitated back to the kitchen and really felt a true drive towards baking and towards pie making. Grandma Liz made all of her pies seasonally, and that is how we approach our business as well. We only work with fruit when it's in season. Bye, Fred, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Bye. One aspect of what we do is a lot of the combination of sweet and savory, kind of highlighting that savory element, whether it's a salted caramel apple or a salty honey or a malted chocolate pecan, which is using malt syrup that is used for brewing beer. Those hit all of the notes on the flavor palette. We also like that our pies are a little bit unexpected. Sweet potato apple crumble is a great example of how we create a pie. I was working on trying to make a sweet potato pie with sliced sweet potatoes, and we were trying it. It just wasn't coming out quite right. Um, it was really dry, and uh, we came up with adding apples to it. For this pie, we like to use a softer, sweeter apple, like a Golden Delicious works well. We also use Empire or Rome. And an ingredient that we really like, especially with apples and in fruit pies, is Angostura bitters. They just add a special herbaceous aromatic note. We're gonna put all of that in there. Before you put it into the crust, you probably wanna just taste it quickly. <laughs> we like to add a little bit of sugar and flour to the bottom of the pie crust. It sort of adds a little sweetness at the bottom of the crust and um, I think it kind of also acts as a little bit of a barrier. Now that the filling is evenly distributed, we can add our oat crumble topping. When we started making pie in New York, we felt like there's plenty of diner pie and there's plenty of bakeries that make pie and there are, you know, you can certainly get a good pie here if you seek it out, but is there a place that's just devoted to it to sit and eat it? I, we like didn't really find that, but I will say that after opening, we do feel that the pie scene has grown and it's exciting to see people doing things differently. We also knew that there was an arts community here, artists and musicians that were underserved and needed a gathering place. And that is very much a mission of our business. We had asked, do you get tired of pie? Do you still eat your pies? Absolutely, we still eat them. Um, do you get tired of it? No, not really. It's, I think that pie is special in that it has this sort of, it's an endlessly creative food medium. Hungry for more pie? Subscribe to the Epicurious channel.